I'm sure you've heard that uh, a lot of figures have been bandied around as jobs created under this government in the previous government. And I'm sure uh, governments to come will tell you, well, we have created jobs, blah, blah, blah. But you know if you are employed or not. But the key question is, what would you do if you were done with your national service, one year of full employment, you were getting your alawa, you were enjoying it, only for you to wake up after national service is done, quickly rush into your bathroom to take your, have your bath, you shuddered or you dressed up, and then you remember that, I don't have a job anymore. I have to look for a new job. What would you do? That's our conversation for today. I'll be joined in the studio by Elizabeth Boating. Uh, she's an entrepreneur with Posada Amado. Posada Ma Amario, I beg your pardon, on Facebook or social media, she's Effia Ginger. And uh, Oscar Bimpo is the CEO of Train to Inspire Consultancy. He is a motivational speaker. Lady and gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. How Good are you morning. doing? Great. And you? Ah, alive and well. I'm greater <laughs> than a crust. Start with you, uh, Lizzie. Sure. After national service, what, what story hit you? Share with us. Okay. I used to be um, talking to other people, especially those who have completed. Way back in school, I was doing that. Right. And all that they would say is, um, after national service, you will know whether your parents will still be catering for you or not. Mm. So I was like, no. Then I have this passion about business okay. that I'm doing already, though it's not, it hasn't blown yet. Mm. So let me continue on just like that. Even okay. after service, I have to, I have to be determined right. because I know people who are doing this kind of business and people step by step, mm. they've mm. reached somewhere. Right. So why don't I put my all in and let's see what will come out from it. So you started in school. Right from Why you were in school? Why, right from level 100? In this hall. Okay. Those who know me, okay. know me. In this hall, that's KNUST. Yes, please. Okay. There was uh, a woman um, who owns a boutique at the, in this hall. So okay. I go there and take some of her staffs okay. to sell. So okay. whoever completed um, like our badge, okay. 2013 badge, okay. who got in this annex, room 71, they know me. Okay. All the floor. If um, you are ginger. If you are ginger, I like the, the <laughs> gobe. Gobe that was sold uh, a few meters away from the in this hall. Anyway. From the in this whole yeah, show. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I loved it. Um, <laughs> but, but then, so, it, it, you made a determination in yes. school. It's all about determination. Okay. You know, study yourself. What are you passionate about? Okay. You love cooking? Take it to the next level. Okay. If it's about music, take it to the next level. It's okay. about selling. Mm. Take it to the next level. Right. Plan about it. Okay. Make sure you are going to excel. Mm. Don't stay at one place. You should move from one place mm. to the other. To the other. That's important. Oscar, so the folks out there who will be done with national service uh, and then they are roaming around looking for jobs. I'm sure you've encountered some of them. Too many. And then there are some who would say, look, like if you're ginger, I'm starting this and I want to move on no matter the hurdles. Yes. You have met too many of them as yes. well. Between the two, uh, which is well situated in our country? Um, I think those, a lot of people are sitting down waiting for jobs after their service. Mm. And the point is that opportunities in our generation don't come to people. Mm -hmm. It goes to people that go and get it like FIA is doing. Right. So people need to understand that, look, mm -hmm. even the jobs, if they are there, how many are there? Mm. And the question is, what are you doing to get a market share of all these job what market? Can, what can they do if you have a business plan like if you go to the bank, you're looking for capital, mm -hmm. and everybody says, look, you don't have the track record, we don't know you, you're too young, you're too small, you don't have experience, this thing would sell, go away. Of course. What do you do? But it, 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 that is what Efia is going to hear. That, that, what you are saying is what she is going to hear. Now, what Efia should do is that she should continue to do what she's doing. She started at school. Now she raised capital. I was speaking to her behind the scenes. She's raised capital to be on her own, meaning that she's made a transition out of nothing to something. Mm. Now the point is that the job, what you are doing, the results is not coming the way you want it. Mm. But the good news is that you started getting the results, meaning that you are doing something right. If you have started hers in level 100, yes. and she has created a niche or yes. carved a niche for yes. herself, how about those who wait uh, they, they hope that, well, once I have a first class degree or second class upper, mm -hmm. I'll get a job, you know, somewhere. And then reality sets in after national service. How do they pick up the pieces?
to, to forge forward. I'll come to a fear for experience. You see, well. even even we have got a program trying to inspire consultancy, and it's just for final year students. It's about managing the expectation and exposing the realities of life after school. Okay. We do it with only final year students. We've done it in the UK the last 10 years, okay. and now we're bringing it to Ghana. Now, with, with this, the point is that after school, the person who got third class okay. probably might be flying. And the person who had first class might be struggling. Right. Why? Because the dynamics in the world market is different from the corridors of the school. Okay. Meaning that things need to change. You can have first class, but you don't have leadership acumen. Mm. You can have first class, but you don't know how to network. Okay. You can have first class, but you don't know how to communicate. Mm. Meaning that in the world market, you are not going to succeed. Okay. But the third class, that is a leader. The third class guy that can network, mm. the third class guys that know how to communicate will be succeeding. Okay. So what I always tell people that the first thing you need to do after school is to work on your personal development. Okay. Employable skills. Employable skills. Mm. A lot of students don't invest their time in this. Take a leadership role mm. in your church, in the association you are in. Even WhatsApp group is a leadership role because <laughs> on WhatsApp <laughs> groups you know that you work. Yeah. <laughs> Today you have to do this, tomorrow you have to do this, next day we are doing this. It is going to build you okay. for you to build your leadership mm. role. If you, what was your experience? I mean, when you started off, I'm sure you had a few hurdles. You want to share some with us? Oh, yes. Um, when I started with business, I quite remember um, one day that um, I became sad was when I picked my staffs, moving from hostels to hostels just, okay. just to sell. It started raining. Ah. I was like, God, I had tears. Not that I'm poor or something like that. I'm trying to make ends meet. Exactly. My grandfather is very supportive. Okay. If, I think he's even listening. He's okay. a pastor at Deeper Life. Okay. He has been supporting me and all that. So he motivates me. I always remember him. And I'm like, no, let me continue. Let me continue. Mm. And it has been great. Do you know I have a shop? I don't they know. They robbed me. They robbed everything. And I won't stop. Yes. Wow. I'm not stopping. I'll, I'm were, still were, were your friends laughing at you back in the day at school? I mean, you've gone to level 100 at tech, level 200. Everybody's clapping, <laughs> you're chilling, you are selling. <laughs> were they mocking you? No, they were not mocking me. All that they say is, Lizidio Pesicao, Lizidio Pesicao. You mm. see that mm. thing? Uh -huh. they, they will buy. They, they've been supportive. Some okay. of my friends have been supportive. Right. Uh, buying and buying and... Um, <laughs> Selling to them okay. at the end of the day, I get paid okay. by some on credit because they are students. Right. And yes, they so pay over time. yes. W where do you hope to to get to? I mean, I will looking at the uh, Dangotes sure. of this of more this world. than them. I will look at the, uh, the 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 Bill Gates of this world. More what are you hoping them. to become? More than them, and it's not mm. now. I've sowed a seed, and I have to water the seed. It will come with challenges. Okay. At times, even giving up. At times, no support from anywhere. Mm. But I think one day I'll get there, definitely. Do you, have, do you have a timeline for this? How long this plan is going to take? Okay, five years to come. Five years to sure. come. What do you say to that young man or that young lady who's done with school? They have something, they have a certain talent, they have a certain app, you know, ability to be able to convince people, for example, to do something. And they are roaming around with CVs, hoping for a job from somewhere. Sure. You said previously, I told you that you have to plan. Right. Look through you. There is something in you. There is something you need to project it outside, on the outside, for people to also benefit from you. I told you, if you love cooking, make sure you are doing something outside there. Okay. You see, people are having this small scale business. Right. At the end of the day, let's say you have Indom, you, you set up, um, let's say, a food vendor. Mm -hmm at the roadside, mm. and let's say you're pro, you earn 30, 30 Ghana cities as profit, or 20 Ghana cities as profit a day. Right. You see, your day didn't go waste. Okay. You've saved something at least. Let's right. say you save 10 mm. cities a day. Okay. How, how much will you get at the end of the month? You see, the youth today, we look at, um, we want quick means okay. to get money. Okay. And I think that's not the solution. That's not the solution. Although it's painful, trust me, to complete school without a job, you'll be depressed. Especially, you see your friends um, having this work and mm. going up and all that. You'll be in your room. Don't be in the room. I mean, move out from your comfort zone. Okay. You should be richer than you think before you hit 35. I see. Uh, so, Mr. Motivational Speaker, mm -hmm. where do we go from here? For the young man, young woman listening 
uh, who's been done with national service. He applied for NAPCO, perhaps he didn't get it, and thinks that the world has come to an end. When he decides to cut bread at home, his parents yeah. think he's making noise. Exactly. What do you say to that person? Yes, so actually, I, I think I, I also went to tech. I'm a Katangi, so <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, and, and I, I also did what you did at school. I was selling some um, drinks that I met a man. He was okay. giving me that wholesale price selling at school. I was making money. But yeah. just that, the person that is watching now, this is what I want to say. One, they should learn to volunteer. I've okay. talked already about personal development. Right. Second, they should learn to volunteer. The question is that if you want to get into the media industry, okay. go to all the media industries here in Accra mm. or wherever you are. Tell them you want to volunteer. Mm. Tell them when you want to buy food, I will go and buy it for you. Okay. Tell them I will help you to hold the camera. Mm. Now, the question is that if you are already in the industry, mm. volunteering, and there is an opportunity, okay. when, what do you think who are they going to give the opportunity to you mm -hmm. or they are going to give it to somebody who is eyesight sitting at home right you have to be in the industry that you want to be now mm -hmm. by volunteering secondly don't box yourself if you're a chemical engineer don't think you want to end as a chemical engineer okay. your education is meant to open your mind mm. to give you the free will to think okay. to seek different opportunities mm. your education should make you to learn at a faster rate okay. to get into different industries mm. so learn to also develop your talent okay your education probably might not get you where you want to be, but probably your talent. Mm. She was talking about using your skills. What have you acquired? What do you right. love doing, right? And also start a business. I've seen people do uh, camera uh, and photography these days. Yes. On, I've yeah. seen people doing, um, you know, they're cooking, they're running small, small kitchens. Yeah. I've seen people doing uh, fruit juice and local stuff. I've seen people doing weaving yes. you know so there's there's a myriad of things of people course, can do of course our problem really and we'll wrap up on this our problem really is how people look down on jobs that are not student and tie related so so this <laughs> is this is where i come in right maybe 30 years ago somebody might be laughing at this wrap up for me yes yeah, somebody might be laughing at despite that he was on a street but today you can't laugh so what is happening is that whatever you are doing today Forget about what people say. Look at where you want to be. Okay. When I started media in the UK, people were laughing at me, but now they can't. Why? Because I've transitioned. Always learn to transition. Move to the next level. Right. It's not going to be easy, <laughs> but it's achievable. It's achievable. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> and uh, uh, Oscar Bingpon is the CEO of uh, Train to Inspire Consultancy. He's a motivational speaker. Elizabeth Boating is an entrepreneur with Posad Amario. And uh, she's on social media, Ethia Ginger. If you're looking for some inspiration, I'm sure you can slide into my inbox and, and get some tips on how to uh, skip the handle of unemployment. So